On the last episode of McFly Angler, I had arrived at the Six Lakes Resort, however a storm had come through, but that didn't stop me from catching a few nice fish. Some even on the dry fly. We also saw some amazing wildlife, and just had an absolute amazing time at this beautiful resort. So we started off the third day of fishing at a different lake on the resort. It was smaller, but we heard that there was some nice fish in it. And pretty quickly I hooked up with the fish. Now I was still using that dry dropper system I was using towards the end of the previous day. However, he got loose right before I was able to net him. But shortly after I hooked up with another nice trout, and this one was fighting much harder. As I explained in my last video, these fish pull really hard for their size. I mean, this is a very stiff six weight rod. It's my stage method, and this fish is putting a nice bend in it. They really don't want to give up here. What a beautiful rainbow, and gorgeous colors on him. This really has to be one of the fattest rainbows I've ever seen. I mean, it's shaped like a football. No wonder he was so powerful. So I tried fishing that spot for a little longer, but didn't connect with any more fish. So I switched to my eight weight streamer rod with a fast sink tip line and stripping an articulated Brahma or soft hackle bugger. And sure enough, pretty quickly, I hooked up with a really nice fish. Beautiful rainbow caught on my new Crux 8 weight rod, also a really heavy action rod. Then I hooked up with another really nice fish. This one though was actually giving this 8 weight rod a bit of trouble. I mean, the rod could handle it, however this fish was really giving it a workout. I mean I could barely turn his head, what a powerful trout.
While this trout was large, it was a little shorter than I expected with the fight it was giving me. But check out this thing's head. Massive front body on this trout. Well, I kept casting and kept catching, and each one of the fish were good fighters. I ended up catching five trout at that spot, and each of the guys I was fishing with caught quite a few there as well, including this really nice 20 plus inch monster caught by Gary. Well, even though we were catching fish there, we decided to move to another lake. However, I found this spot on the lake I went to a little slow. Now, I did end up catching one fish, but it was in about 45 minutes. So since that spot wasn't all that productive, I decided to walk down near Lee, since he had a few bites. And sure enough, I started getting fish to bite there. This was a corner spot on the lake, and the wind was blowing towards the corner, which was blowing all the bugs that way, and therefore all the trout were stacked up there. I mean, it was non-stop at that spot. Seriously guys, almost every cast here. However, the fish there were just not quite as large as the last lake, but still a blast to fish there. I probably caught six to seven in an hour at that spot, and Lee got a couple as well. Then we went in for lunch. After lunch, Lee and I decided to take the rowboat out at the main lake, something both of us wanted to do since we got there. Six Lakes lets you use these boats for free while staying there. We went around the lake a few times looking for fish, and even fished a few spots. Now I hooked up with one fish, but I lost it. The wind was blowing pretty good, and it was tough to keep the boat positioned because of that. So within about a half hour of taking the boat out, we decided to go back in. With the knowledge of fish being stacked at the corner at that last lake, I decided to fish the main lake with my dry dropper again, right at the corner where the wind was blowing there as well. And sure enough, I started catching. This fish took the flashback pheasant tail, but I was catching fish left and right here, and again, almost every cast. Many were on the nymph, and quite a few on the Chernobyl ant as well. These fish were really eager to pretty much eat anything I was throwing at them. The only problem is the wind was blowing very hard by now, and into my face. So making distance casts was very difficult, but I did fish here for a few more hours until I was tired and decided to go back to the cabin to eat dinner.
Now, this was the last night I was staying at the cabin, and we were able to fish the next day. However, I knew I had a long drive home through some mountainous areas, and I wanted to be home at my house before dark. So I decided not to fish the next morning, and just started my drive back. But I had an amazing time at this Six Lakes Resort, catching some very nice sized and spunky hard fighting trout that gave even my heavy action 8 weight a run for its money. I got a fish on the streamer, nymph, and even dry flies. And there were multiple species caught here. I hear there are even tiger trout in the main lake. Not only was the fishing amazing, the cabin was luxurious and the setting was breathtaking. They have great commodities like boats to take out for free. And if you take a few guys with you, the cost of renting this place could be very reasonable. So if you want to easily catch some large spunky trout like I did on this trip, I highly recommend giving Six Lakes a call. I will link to their website in the description section of this video. I hope you had a good time coming along on my adventure out to Utah. Thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe and share with all your fish-loving friends. Also, do me a favor and hit that like button. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.